Hello again, lovely people. Long time no see. I just wanted to give you an update of what's been going on. I've sort of put the Nova project aside for those of you working on it. I hope it's been going well for you. I know a lot of you have taken on the, the project. Um, so I've been playing around with motors mostly and just ideas and thoughts of what my next build might entail, be it another robot or possibly a robotic arm or something. I'm enamored with motors, and you, as you all know, we built Nova out of these 20 kilograms motors. Um, so yeah, in my wild thinking and, and imaginations, I started playing around with these fairly expensive pancake motors. And then lo and behold, JLC PCB reached out to me to offer a sponsorship, and I was just thinking about starting to make some actual metal parts instead of a 3D printed project like Nova was. So I took them up on their sponsorship offer and had them make me up a couple of these prototype parts, which are brackets for these motors, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Um, they're CNC machined. Even a home CNC machine would have a very difficult time making a part like this because it's four or five axis. I believe this one was four axis. They could probably do it with. That's very hard to do on a home machine. And the quality and the precision and the accuracy is just spot on. And these are anodized in silver, or flat gray, I think it's called. And really, really great work. Fairly inexpensive, very short delivery time, which always surprises me in about a week from delivery to door, they were in my hands. So yeah, big shout out and thanks to JLC PCB. They also offer 3D printing services and PCB manufacturing and assembly and all those other services. Um, I may try out the 3D printing metal services I've never seen or held metal 3D prints in my hand, so I'd be very curious how they compare with these absolutely, obviously rigid and very good looking and pretty much indestructible. Even if I ran that over with my car, it would probably survive. So yes, this bracket is made to work with these newer, much more expensive pancake motors, which is really a BLDC motor with a gearbox, usually a planetary gearbox. Its own driver board is a PCB that sits under this and an encoder to monitor the position of the motor. Um, as I said, we're used to, or my project anyway, the Nova project, we use these 20 gram servos, hobby servos, which they're all metal gear. They're not bad for what they are. But then I was playing around with this step up, as you can see in size, quite a step up and they're 60 kilogram. These made quite a difference, but obviously too big for the Nova project, or she'd start to look pretty goofy. And then on further research, I actually found these motors come also in 100 and 150 kilogram. So these are quite powerful, but I think when it gets into these type of servo motors, the biggest problem is mechanical disadvantage. Being this one contact point, this one screw, this one fine tooth gear is basically how you connect and the only way to connect to these. I've seen all sorts of designs. I've done a few for myself in the Nova project where you have to build framework around this to lock this gear work or bearing more onto the motor itself to keep this rigid. And from out not bending like this, it's a nightmare, as you all know. And that limits us and what we can build with them. Now these motors, this whole aluminum disc here is the servo horn. Part of, there's a bearing that sits right around that that sits right inside the planetary gear work. So it's part of the motor, part of the gear work and, and connects straight to the stator of the BLDC motor. So these are awesome, they're CAN bus. Um, you get connection to talk to the motor and then just to run it, all you have is two wire CAN bus and two wire power, that's it. This one is a 48 volt motor, which yes, is another whole different world than these guys. Uh, actually, I should mention that these are up to 12 volt. Yeah, 12.6 volt as well. Whereas these guys that we used for Nova were 6.8, uh, up to eight volts, but I, I never push it that far. So yeah, this bracket is meant for me to start assembling some of these motors together to, for whatever project. I really had learned my lesson in the Nova project. Swinging this motor around on a leg is a lot of work on the motor that's swinging it to carry that weight. 
So really the design paradigm in, in robotics is to keep all of the motors close together. And in another design I played around with these guys, I managed to do that. So I'm trying to do the same with these. And you can see in all the big robotic dog projects, they do the same thing. So this, this bracket is part of the open source um, spot project. And I adapted it for these motors because sizes are different and I definitely want this to also attach to the hub on other motors. So this is gonna attach like that to one motor and then a second motor can go like that. And then I could take a third bracket and go like that, put another motor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think it's gonna work out really nicely. Again, this is not completely my design, it's part of an open source project for open dog project but I, I may not be building a, a dog we'll see it may be a robotic arm or some other invention which i will not talk about right now but stay tuned guys thanks for tuning in again um like share and subscribe if you haven't already i'll definitely be getting more into these motors as i learn more in fact i'll show the software to them too they're, they're pretty wild all the things that you control the, the torque and the compliance and all that fun stuff so yeah it's pretty cool much better than using these servos all right, guys, so yeah, I wanted to show off these motors. Give a big shout out to JLC PCB. I'll put a link in the description for them and check out their services, all of their services. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying their other services as well. And I'll be back soon with whatever I decide to make with these guys, and I'll let you all join in the fun with me. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Take care.